Kia ora, year nine. In this video, I'm going to go over how we convert from fractions to decimals when we don't have a calculator. And I'm going to do unistructural examples in this one. So there will be six or seven examples, and there'll be these ones. So the first set that we're going to look at have this pattern where we've got a power of 10 in the denominator already. And you should be knowing by now that that means that these ones are going to be the easiest ones because our number system runs on, play, on place value of 10. And then the next set that we're going to look at are going to be ones where we can pretty easily get a common denominator that's a power of 10. So we're going to do these ones here. In the next video that I do, I will look at harder ones where you can't easily convert this denominator into a power of 10. Okay, so pause the video if you're feeling confident and just have a go at those questions. Um, otherwise, keep on watching. So if we've got 83 divided by 100, then using our place value system for the like 5,000th time in the last few days, we can think about what these things mean. So if we've got 83 hundredths, hundredths, that means that we would like to be squeezing 83 into here, right? But we can't. So we can say that we've got 8 tenths and 3 hundredths. So 83 over 100 is going to be 0 0.83. And that should be familiar from the last video when we did that the other way around. Okay, the next two examples, let's look at um, 7 tenths. Well, here, we know that we've got 7 in this column here, so the answer is going to be 0 0.7. And we don't have to draw all of this, we're just doing that mentally by now, probably. Okay, but you can draw it if you need to. And then the next example I was going to do was 831 over 100. So we know that this 1 has got to be in my hundredths column, and the 3 will be next to it in the tenths column, and then we're going to have 8 whole numbers. And that makes sense because the place value of that 8 is 800, right? 800 divided by 100 gives me the whole number there of 8. Okay, so if we've got a denominator that is 100 or 10 or 100, it's reasonably straightforward to go from a fraction to a decimal. And that's what we're going to have to do when we don't have a place value, a power of 10 in my denominator. So if I've got 41 over 50, I have to first use my equivalent fractions to get this to be out of 100. So 50 times what is 100? 50 times 2. 41 times 2 gives me 82. So 82 out of 100 and then it's back to an easy one, so it's going to be 0 0.82. Right, let's keep on going. If I've got 3 out of 25, I can times this by something to get to 100, times by 4. Right, equivalent fractions, I have to do the same thing to the numerator, so 3 4s will give me 12. 12 out of 100, which is equal to 0 0.12. Just a couple more before you can go and do some um, interactive worksheets on this. So 3 fifths, hmm, well, I could times by 10, and that would get me 50, but that's no use. I want to get to a power of 10. Much better to just times by 2, right? So 5 twos are 10, 3 twos are 6. So my answer here is 0 0.6, right? Because I'm working in the tenths column, and I've got six of them. The last one here, well, I think it's the last one, let's see. Yep, 11 out of 250. So 11 out of 250, I can't convert it to a decimal quite yet because I want to have a power of 10 here. So 250 times 4 will give me 1,000, and 11 times 4 will give me 44. So let's be careful with this one. We need to have this 4 in my thousand, thousandths column, so there's my tenths column, hundredths, thousands. So we're going to have 4 here, we're going to have the next 4 will be here, and this is 0 here, so 0 0.044. Okay, so when we're working, one more time, when we're working with fractions and we want to convert them to decimals, we need to, to get them to having a nice power of 10 in my denominator first. Sometimes that's obvious, sometimes it's one step of equivalent fractions, and then in the next video we're going to do some that are more like this, where I might have, let's think, well, ones like this, four sevenths are going to be 
much harder to convert from fractions to decimals um, because we're going to get one that goes on forever. Okay, so we don't all need to know how to do that just yet. Um, so watch the next video if you would like to do some harder examples.